And you remember, Edgar, in the past, our first implementation in Brazil, we managed to implement with, I mean, using standard features feature from NetSuite, right? Uh, yes, but when you we use uh, the standard features in NetSuite, you have a hard work, a manual work, right. okay? Because, for example, in, in, in the transactions in NetSuite, you need to add manually, by line, the all BAT uh, okay. uh, types, okay? It's, it's, it's similar hard. like what we see in other countries, right? There's always workarounds, but it really comes to the point that how much manual work exactly. do you want to yeah, do? This work around in Brazil can be uh, maybe a nightmare, okay? Yeah. Okay. Oh, all right, okay. yeah. that's, that, that's, that's good. Okay. Mm -hmm. But could work for a small and very standard operation. Yes, or, or small operations okay. well, with only services, for example. All right, well, that, maybe that's, can work. that's a good if, point. If that's not the case, can we say there's a pretty big gap between what NetSuite native functionalities has and what we need to be compliant with local requirements, right? Yes, yes. Okay. And, and remember, it's not only the tax calculation. Every time you have the the BAT amount or the holding tax amount, you need to complete or to take all other information that you need to issue your legal report, for example. Okay, sure. So it's not the calculation, no amount, mm -hmm. no rate. Sure. You have more information. And for the last, I would say, three years, we have been listening to what NetSuite is calling sweet tax. Yeah. And yeah. It's already there, it's already in place, right? Yeah, it's, it's the next uh, generation of the standard tax engine in NetSuite. Okay. In order to support uh, for example, the calculation in the, of the VAT in Brazil. Okay. The VAT in Brazil uh, have uh, subtypes. Okay. Mm. It's a, a, a complex calculation. So with SuiteTax, uh, NetSuite covers uh, this calculation for the VAT, for example. 